Ramona Diaz is a smart, university-educated, and very opinionated woman. I should know, because she's my mom. She pays her taxes, keeps up with the news, and does her civil obligation of going to jury duty. But surprisingly, one thing she doesn't do is vote. Well, in my past, I never really paid attention to a whole lot, only because, you know, I always thought my voice, my one single voice, can't be heard. According to the United States Election Project, Latinos, like my mom, are the least likely ethnic group that are going to vote in the polls. So I asked her, does this have anything to do with her Mexican heritage? Because my parents were never really involved into politics, and because they were not U.S. citizens, they were not able to vote. So a lot of it could have been that. To be fair, my mom has voted once before. But since she works full time and she was studying for her master's degree, all while taking care of my sister and I, voting isn't really her top priority. Well, that was until Trump announced his candidacy. When Mexico sends its people, they're not sending their best. They're not sending you. They're not sending you. They're sending people that have lots of problems and they're bringing those problems with us. They're bringing drugs, they're bringing crime, they're rapists, and some, I assume, are good people. The fact that one of the candidates has put down my race. Um, he's talked about Hispanics and, and placed us in a bad situation to where I believe most of, of my race, the Hispanics, are probably thinking the same way as I do. So this got me thinking, was Trump only having this effect on my mom? Or was he inspiring many in this border region to come out and vote? So to get my answers, I headed to downtown Las Cruces to ask some eligible voters for their opinions on him. I've never really paid attention to any of that stuff, but I mean, now that I'm seeing the stuff that Trump is already saying. I probably would have voted anyways, you know, just to help out. Donald Trump, I think, represents almost everything that's bad about America. I would never not vote. Um, but I'm, I'm not gonna vote for Trump. Like the nearly seven out of 10 Americans that were anxious about Donald Trump's candidacy in the Washington Post poll, the majority of the people we interviewed said that if they weren't already planning on voting, they would go out and vote because of Trump. Except for one lady who said that she could see the upside of Trump's presidency. The 2014 election saw historically low levels of voter turnout. So I went to the Donia Anna County Government Center to ask Scott Crayling, the Donia Anna County Chief Deputy Clerk, if he believes Trump's candidacy will boost voter turnout in New Mexico. He says while negative messages in political campaigns might rally people in the short term, it can disengage voters in the long term. You know, we can do more in the community to talk about elections in a positive way as opposed to the negativity that you tend to get on TV or in, or in mail. Um, and if we, can, if we can help people understand uh, why voting is important, I think that we'll get more people to vote. Crayling says he doesn't think Trump's candidacy will impact voter turnout. But if you look at the data from the first vote with Trump on the ballot, the New Hampshire primary, voter turnout was all the way up. It could be argued more people will turn out because of Trump, either voting for or against him. New Hampshire has a largely white population, but my mom hopes that here in New Mexico that others will soon realize the dangers of not exercising their right to vote. It is our right that was given to us that we fought so hard for. Let us not lose it. Continue to go out there and, you know, encourage individuals to have a voice. Whether you think that you don't have a voice or not, eventually you do. When all the beans and all the pennies are counted and gathered, they make a huge difference. Reporting for KRWG and Las Cruces Bulldog Broadcast, I'm Daniel Salinas.